Uh, the Miss England TV uh, channel, uh, obviously there was already a YouTube channel, but we thought we could do a couple of things. One was help them with the live streaming, but also set a new roundup because it is essential that if you're going to be part of Miss England that you master media. You could also potentially develop a career in the line of presenting, journalism, talk show or entertainment where you're going to have to work with a crew and cameras and it's an important experience and learning. So we set that competition up. Um, it ran for just about a month and a half. Uh, we had uh, just over 20 uh, applicants. And just to give you an idea of the richness of the experience that they had, my company has been around 10 years, and we started off with presenters that we recruited through uh, the usual presenting sites, and they were your age, uh, a lot of them just out of university. And these are four notable ladies that worked with the Video News Factory in the early days. So you might know about Annabelle Knight. Uh, she has worked on Love Honey Channel, uh, uh, Loose Women, uh, Loose Love Clinic, etc. Uh, Nicola Kelleher, you recognize her on the Colgate um, adverts. Um, Maddie Moat, one of my favorite presenters, an absolute professional and she has had a long lineup of uh, series on CBeebies, on science. Um, and there's Nat Taylor. Nat still works with us regularly on corporate presentation, but she's worked on Sky and various things. So what I was able to do was to give back 10 years of experience of working with corporate presenters who'd climbed the ladder, and you're at, in the hands of people that know uh, the psychology and what you have to do to sort of get into, into line. So the learning experience is quite rich. So you're going to, if you enter the competition, learn a range of things through the experience. We set some exercises up. We do webinars on a weekly basis uh, to coach people. You get the one-to-one -one coaching of the session that you have when you come in to do filming. So it's all about things like planning and preparing, script and content creation, building something which motivates because your job as a presenter is to drive emotion into people, either entertain them or make them concerned about something so they take action or they become loyal fans. And if you can't do that as a presenter, you, <coughs> nobody will hire you. But that, that's the sort of thing that we do in the preparation, um, learning how to entertain people, essential acting skills. There's a, a surprising difference that we make with girls and the winner of last year came in and she had no acting skills at all. She was uh, trained in theatrical makeup, but she took direction and she transformed into the winner. It was the most incredible transformation I've, I've witnessed in years of doing it. So the ability to give you that one-to-one -one coaching, teach you those essential skills, body language, mental skills, how to ad-lib, because if you're doing the interview version of the round, your uh, interviewee will come off with off-the-cuff comments that aren't on the script and you have to engage and the worst thing you can do is just plow on and ignore either an opportunity to uh, build on on that particular point or you know misreply to it so things like that controlling an interview vocal skills using video technology things like an autocue it was surprising how many girls hadn't actually used an autocue and it's an essential tool you can get an app on your mobile phone to, you know, if you're doing your vlogging, to do that. So just getting uh, knowledge of how to promote your video, work with a director and crew, avoid all the common mistakes, and working with a client and a sponsor, because all the girls had to get a sponsor behind them, usually a commercial company or a charity, and you had to make sure that you liaise with them and they were prepared and they gave you the right uh, branding and, and, and words that they wanted expressed in, in their video. And of course the legal aspects, you'll get a, a little bit of a, a primary training in that. That's Elise Houghton, um, that's the lady that came in flat as an ironing board and then just transformed into a, a, a video presenting angel. Um, that's an interview format, so there were two formats last year. So you had your uh, solo presenter and you had the interview style with a guest and they were all done in our studio in Milton Keynes. 
and you can view those on YouTube. But essentially, it, those were two simple formats and there was one, uh, one sort of round of voting. This is the kind of impact that we had and it blew us away. We could not believe how the girls went for uh, getting their campaigns and the attention. So over a five day competition, the organic reach on the first day alone was 48,000. It increased to 68,000 on the second day. Posts reached 342,000 people. And this is all stuff, if you get behind this and you want to join, that you can take to your sponsors and say, I want to be part of this. You know, we can create a buzz and work together with your charity. And we had 140,000 uh, post engagements and 17,000 reactions. The idea was that we put all the videos up at the same time on a special Facebook and it was down to sharing. Who got the most shares? Who went the most viral? As simple as that. Okay, and this is the uh, feedback that we got. That's Elisa's views. So you can see that it, that's what she was prepared to say. And that was before she won. Um, and it was unanimous. So that's Rebecca Gormley, Miss Newcastle. And we also had Ashley Matthews there. But we also had mums and parents and sponsors saying great things about it. It was just, I got hugs at the, it sort of, was one of the most emotional things I've done in, in recent years, but people would come to me. And one of the girls actually got a commercial contract having done it. And her mum came and said, you know, it wouldn't have happened without you, and, and it was just a breakthrough. So there are a lot of benefits. So I'll wrap up now just giving you the benefits. The overall winner will get to the grand finals. It aligns perfectly with beauty with a purpose. It's a new way to get your beauty with a purpose mission out as part of a campaign a joint campaign with Miss England. It's great value for your sponsors. You, you try, if you're a charity, getting a video done for less than a thousand pounds. And most of the options that we have are far less than that. In fact, the starter options are around 300 pounds to actually enter and, and get the funding to, to do one of these uh, rounds. You get the vital showreel so that you can say, I've worked with a crew, I've been in a studio, and this is what I did, and these are the views I got. Uh, you get the personal training feedback, uh, it enhances your promotion within the competition. It gives you a real vehicle to shout out about who you are and what you're doing. You might also get on our books. It hasn't happened yet, but we may have a project or somebody may stand out that can be connected with one of our commercial contracts. And it, we know it's led to uh, instant offers of work. And it's just exciting and fun. Everybody enjoys it. It's, it's like, yes, it's a lot of hard work and you have to be committed to it. And finally, very, very affordable. So this is the new format. So this year we're going to have three titles. So there are three titles that you can enter in three styles. Solo, interview, and on location. Uh, and it goes up in price because of the overheads in doing that. But if your sponsor wants to do a demonstration, a showcase, a little mini documentary, we will go on location for you. Um, then there'll be an overall winner. We're going to run it much longer now from February through to July. The initial judging will be the same Facebook format and you know, obviously you're given maximum points for the, the shares that you can get. And the final, the final 18, I should say, uh, an overall winner will be by e-voting. And there is an option that we're looking at the moment. I can't confirm it, but we may go pay-per-view as a, a broadcast, either at the grand final or as a separate event. So, you know, it will be by public vote all the way through this time. Um, we did, on the very f end of the competition with the last year's competition, do it on the basis of uh, a judge, a, f a final judging panel. But this time it's going to be public dr vote driven all the way through. So that's it for me. And Angie will be contacting everybody that's uh, entering Miss England uh, to let them know about um, Miss England TV 2020. That's it.